But this is actually not about race. This is actually an issue of public safety. And if I call this, if I call this an invasion, sir, I'm not racist. I can assure you I'm not racist. What I can assure you is that I want to make sure that fentanyl doesn't indiscriminately kill any race, religion, color, or creed. Because fentanyl doesn't care where you're from. Fentanyl doesn't care about race. Fentanyl kills indiscriminately. This gentleman right here works his tail off every single day to stop that from happening. Now, there's been a break in the dam, and that's pretty obvious. Because a couple of years ago, of course, we had some problems, but it wasn't amplified to the level that we are seeing every single day. And the reason why we have to be careful with what we call and what we deem racist moving forward in the future is because we stop, we stop losing, we start to lose focus on what the actual problem is. This administration, the Democrat Party, unfortunately, uses race as a scapegoat for everything. And as somebody that wants to make sure that we do attack racist issues when they do occur, we can't be the boy who cried wolf and blame racism all the time. I am here to hold this administration accountable to understand that there are issues of race that need to be addressed. And sir, this ain't one of them. I applaud some of your actions in El Paso. It sounds like you're doing some great things. But I'm going to tell you, as being born and raised in Texas, living in Houston, we have a problem. And this problem has precipitated over the course of the past two years. That is a fact. 